You claim that you are Jesus. Why are you not performing miracles currently? Well, I feel this, uh, this expectation that I perform miracles at this point in time is really an expectation based on a lot of false assumptions that people have about my first century life. In my first century life, the time period that is recorded primarily in the Bible is the time period from after I became at one with God, but me until I died, which was a period of around about three and a half years. After I became at one with God, God performed miracles through me by, by connecting with the individuals uh, through myself and then using some of the energy that I had in me to, to heal the person. So God did that through me. I didn't actually heal anybody at all. So in the first century, it was important to understand that I personally did not actually heal anyone. It was this love, this divine love that operated through me that healed the individual. Secondly, I was not able to heal anybody in the first century until I became at one with God. And that process was an active process that I had to engage through understanding this process of what God was teaching me. Now, once I understood what that God was actually teaching me, I actively engaged that process. And I was around 18 years of age in the first century when I did that. And then it took me a further 13 years to become at one with God after I actively engaged that process. Once, during that time, I could not heal anybody. And there is no recordings in the Bible or any other scriptures that I, that I healed anybody until I was around 30 years of age or just a bit over 30 years of age. The reason for that is, is that I could only heal by God healing through me, by my becoming at one with God and then having this ability for God to heal through me. This occurred after I became at one with God. For that reason, it's impossible for me to now heal unless I go through exactly the same process. Now, I began to actively engage this process around about nine years ago now. So it's taken me nine years so far to actively engage this process, and I am still not yet in my current form at one with God. And it will only be, I expect, it will only be once I became, become at one with God that I'll again have the same ability to heal other people in the same way that I did in the first century, in the sense that I didn't really do it. It was God working through me that did it. Now, once I become at one with God in this, in this life, which I hope to be able to do, but I, it's not a, uh, a fait accompli, it's, it's something that may occur, depending upon my desire, just like, it, just like it had to depend upon my desire in the first century to become at one with God. Once I become at one with God, assuming that I ever do, once I become at one with God, I will be able to heal again based upon the same prerequisites that I had in the first century. And that is, because God's laws do not change, faith is required on the individual's part who is being healed. Faith in God and faith in God's love, that God's love has the ability to heal. And once a person has that faith, and I am in the condition where I am at one with God myself, then persons will be able to be healed through me. God will be able to heal people through me. I do not expect to be able to heal any person before that time.